Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. We're on episode number six. Let's play the Old Gods. Tengri, Hungary playthrough. It was the Magyars, now we're the Hungarians. So, we can, uh, you know, do stuff. Got some prisoners. I don't really know what good they're for. I mean, they don't have any money. Let's just kill this guy. No, it's tyrannical, apparently. We'll just let him rot, I guess. I just don't like having extra people in there. So we can do the invasion of that guy. So let's, uh... Well, we have to worry about attrition. I guess that's the only disadvantage. You can't split these troops. You can't... I mean, it's 16,000. That's the stack. So we'll send them there. Um, I'm going to want to expand into the Byzantines, because, you know... That's just what we're gonna do. We're gonna ex we're gonna ex we're gonna exterminate the Byzantines, I think. So yeah, let's split those again, and we'll take fifteen there, fifteen there, fifteen there. They're like perfect size for that. Ugh. I'm gonna leave one of them behind. Hopefully, they don't suffer attrition. Suffering attrition in our own lands. How sad is that? Yeah, you stay there for a second, you stay there for a second. It's interesting, we have 33,000 men here. And yet they're not actually suffering attrition. It's over the limit. Interesting. Well, anyway, I'm still gonna send them over slowly. And we need to do something with technology, so we've got, uh... What? Did our capital get moved? Oh, they gave us Pest. Interesting. Forced Pest to become the capital. That must be the du jour capital of, uh, of it. I could change it back down to here. I don't want it to be there. It doesn't really matter to me. Can I move it outside of my... my yeah. Sardika is the one that has that legalism. That is the capital. Pest? Bah. Pest is a jour part of the thing at Pest. Why are you Altaic? You are supposed to have been converted. That didn't seem to work. Didn't I read that it was going to convert him? All people would become Hungarian? Oh well. Okay, so technology. We can't actually afford anything. It's, uh, we'll just take whatever. Let's take, uh, legalism to level two, popular customs. Just take all this crap. I don't care. Just want to spend it. And we'll prepare for our invasion of the Byzantines. First, we're going to take this guy. Oops. Who is this, and why is he so upset? Is that that guy? It is. You are supposed to be Hungarian. How about I just revoke your stuff, huh? Okay, fine. I'm gonna have to find a way to get rid of him. He, he was supposed to have been converted, but he... Hmm. Okay, let's get this out of the way. Anybody but him, then. Like, say, this guy's Hungarian. And we'll let him have both. It's fine. The Byzantine Empire. Oh my god, it's a 12-year-old. 29,000 troops. We're gonna kick their ass. We're gonna take all the Byzantine. I'm gonna take the entire Byzantine Empire. Everything that I can reach. I can't reach. I'm not gonna go down there. That's dumb. What? What do you want? Alright, fine. We're, okay, let's just sort by time in prison. There we go. Have all this money and nothing to spend it on. I guess we should upgrade the holdings a bit. Let's build some castle towns. 
Missile chain again, sounds good, sure, why not? Castle Town. Good, good, good. Okay, we'll improve our diplomacy as per our ambition. You're actually gonna make me work for this? You little bastard. Okay, so we have a total of 50, almost 54,000 men that are just standing ordered troops. So I'm going to use these guys, kind of like I did before, to be the front wall to defend the smaller sieges. And we're just going to declare the invasion of Greece. We can invade any of them. And every single holding that we actually attack, we get to keep. That's the best part. It's crazy. And we will go ahead and raise all of the vassal levies as well. And send them southward. It's, uh... Oh. Here, take all you guys and all you guys. Eighteen thousand plus just you. So, three stacks of about 15, 16,000. And the other thing I should spend money on is retinue. Yeah, we can get 2,500 cap. These guys are only 1,000. And we still, yeah, we still get the religious bonuses to our cavalry. So let's go ahead and let's try them out. We'll try out these Hussar retinues. We get two of them. My son became an elusive shadow. How oh, nice. Fortunately, the Byzantine Empire has lots of coastal provinces, so our supply limit will be just fine. And you want to know what else is funny? Is if we really wanted to, we could even go looting. <laughs> God dang, Gree, you're so ridiculous. Okay, and only we're only going to take the top level holding. Because it's fastest. There's his main army, 12,400, and he's got 6,000 there. I have to have a battle, I think. Hey, it's a peasant revolt right there. Oh, nice. And they're actually going to come and crush my own peasant revolt. That's funny. Thank you, Byzantines. So I'm thinking what I'll do... Thanks for surrendering. <laughs> That's weird. Get out of here. Okay, so he's actually... Oh my god. <laughs> he's suffering attrition in my own land. That is funny stuff. Okay. Alright, let's get uh, let's get some good commanders on this army. And then I'm gonna not worry about the siege duration. Let's go fight him. Crush the majority of the Byzantine army. And then just slowly work our way across. Unfortunately, he's got hills bonus with... Uh, I've got the river crossing, but we've got, you know, double his troop count. So I think we'll be okay. I hope. Wow. Oh my god, he actually beat me. Holy shit. <laughs> that was not expected at all. Okay, well I guess you gotta take that stuff serious. Uh, you're not ready, son. Okay, so... If we get more men... No, we're kinda capped out on troops. Uh, what kind of troops are these, anyway? 1200 light cavalry. Lots of heavy infantry. They're good troops. I, that was just a really bad engagement. Okay, so... Hills is going to be no matter what, but we don't want to cross the river. So let's go here. We'll go down to there and then cross. Do 
Twice in a row, wow. And are we going to arrive before we have full morale? No, we're close. We have a troop account advantage. No, I don't care. Hopefully I don't die in battle. Man, those two penalties really added up last time. I'm surprised. Chase him down, get rid of his army at all together. Constantinople's been raided. We're not raided, but. And since we've crushed this army over here, I'm gonna go with small groups of about 2,000. As many of them as I can get. Um, actually. That'll work. That's enough. We'll leave th that one behind. You can go there. That one goes there. I'll spread out nicely. And he is actually trying to engage me. Oh crap, no leader. Shoot, shoot, shoot. What was I thinking? Still, 16,000 men without a leader can probably do okay. Which is stupid, that's why clear combat's so much better. Look at this, they're doing a perfect tactic, they're just, just fine. You know, no problem, no big deal. Once again, this is the headless le this is the headless army. It does not need a, a leader. Leaders are overrated. Lots of prisoners. Okay, I don't care. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna power through this because I don't care. There, get out of my prison. And we will go with upgrades again. We'll do some. Militia training ground, we'll get some stables, we'll get some castle walls, sure why not, we'll get militia training ground, fortifications, and we're out of money. Next. This is like speed Crusader Kings 2. That one's already been sacked, so we'll go there now. We're starting to convert the faith already. Oh, this is gonna be crazy. I bet I can take over the world in like <laughs> it's gonna be no time at all. Oh jeez, it's gonna be funny. Okay, time in prison. News people. Give us money. Stop trying to kill me. Or whoever it is that you're trying to kill. Little plotter. Um, I don't want a lot of kids. I've already got kids. One thing that would be kind of cool would be like an auto ransom button. That'd be kind of neat. Like a setting where you just say like anybody that's captured just try to ransom them. That'd be kind of cool. does seem to have managed to get together about 5,000 men again, so I should probably engage that. You know what the craziest thing about all this is? Notice how we don't have any vassal opinion penalties? Since we're an unreformed pagan, they don't care. I can leave my troops raised as long as I want. 
It's so ridiculous. Oh, it's like candy. It's like fun. Okay, so let's see. Who's going to take care of that army? Well, it's probably going to have to be this one. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't care about taxes. I should have been more proactive with this. I should have gotten somebody to come take care of this army over here. Now we've got to... We're going to lose some men. Minimal taxes? That's fine. Well, they actually have united. Hey, they fought them off on their own. That's good. Oh well. Can I get to there? Oh good, I can. A little tiny island. You surrender? No. I refuse. I want all of it. I want all of your land. Every single title. It must be mine. Okay, that army is done with there, so we'll go to that one. I think the only places we won't be able to get to are the islands. And that's okay. Although, my war is over the title of Greece. So unfortunately, he'll end up becoming a vassal down there in those islands if I can't get to him. But I don't think I have any boats. None at all. And I don't know if I can actually hire boats as mercenaries. Probably not. Oh well. Or was one of those 90, was that boats? Nope, no boats. Well, that's too bad. It's better when you can just cleanly eliminate him from the map. Make him unlanded. Okay, I'm going to wrap this one up here. In the next video, we will probably finish the conquest of the Byzantines and go from there. Thanks for watching. See you soon.